I think it's safe to say what we're building is gonna be the coolest and greatest monitor lizard habitat any private person's had. I mean, shucks, some zoos would be pretty jealous Absolutely. of this. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Good morning, everyone. Bright and early, real early. Well, it's 7.30, but it's just after the time change, so it still feels like 6.30 in the morning, but there he is, Slinky. It's a big day for you, buddy, because you are gonna be getting a new pond very soon, uh, and a whole new enclosure. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's special shout out goes to longtime supporter, Irie Rowe. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. So part one of our build is commencing today. Look at this guy shedding, man. This guy is getting big. He just keeps growing the big old slinks. My God, I love you. Then why I love you is why we are going to get to work today. And not only do I love him, but my friends at Aquascape love them. And uh, I don't know if anyone's here. We're going to go open the gates. I'm going to show you what's going on. And uh, we are going to get busy today because over the next couple days, we have got to build this beautiful, awesome slinky pond plus a waterfall and stream using these pretty cool bleached out rocks. Uh, these are freshly quarried rocks and uh, just got them. We've also got some fill and we've got some gravel. We've got some cool powered uh, muck trucks or powered wheelbarrows that my friends that I ride bikes with, you're gonna meet these guys in a little bit. It's pretty cool what they donated so we can get this thing going. And um, I don't know, it's just gonna be an awesome day. So let's go ahead and open the gates and see who's gonna be showing up here at Camp Kennan uh, to help us out with this really cool project. All right, guys. Nice. Ed showed up, Greg showed up, all the guys are here. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you what we got to work with. These are some good size and yeah. chunky boulders, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is nice. different than what we normally get down great. here. It does look different. Right? It's yeah. the same material, but you, we got really nice angles. Yeah. No, it, it's definitely, it looks a lot different. Yeah. Interesting. This is cool. Though. This That'll is good stuff. So absolutely. I think so. So um, we've got the, uh, we got the boulders. We also have my friend Terry showed up from the trails. Uh, I ride bikes with Terry. He does the muck trucks here, these powered wheelbarrows. Check these out, Ed, Greg. These things are, you, you wouldn't think so, but they're very maneuverable. I was able to move them around earlier uh, when we got them in. And uh, Terry's gonna give you guys a little bit of a, a schooling on them, but okay. they're pretty much idiot proof. I use them. <laughs> you know, proof I, I had no problems, but um, yeah, I'm really excited. These guys are here. We're good. We got a crew of men that have shown up from Orlando, New Jersey, uh, the Bronx, well actually we're at New York City, um, South Carolina, so a lot of uh, certified aquascape contractors have come down to help out build Slinky's Pond. I really, really appreciate what these guys do and they donate their time, so it's really a good time. So anyhow, uh, we're gonna get these guys all situated and then we're gonna figure things out and get to work building. All right, so I'll, after we get this done, I'll run to yeah, Home Yeah, it's not that much. We got, um, yeah, I think we'd be able to go pretty quick. what I'm thinking, bud, is do we do our waterfall here, uh -huh. okay? This is gonna be the black throat monitor enclosure. I'll show you guys them later. But I was thinking, you know, does it kind of meander its way down through here? Right at 20 foot, we'll, we'll mark it. Yep. We're gonna go 20 foot for their enclosure. Yep. It'll fall into that. that okay, that it, it, it'll fall in on the, the high side first and then it will go and then under. Go. No, okay, uh, underneath. perfect. Yeah, so you know that. Yep. So we'll have to just rip this out, which shouldn't be too that hard. There's some, pretty quick. there's some wire that's attached to it. Okay. I might have to cut it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. don't want to rip it up and then possibly rip everything, everything. down. Okay. So we'll just cut that real quick. Okay. But um, it's no big deal. I got yep. the tools. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, it, you know, whatever. It just so we'll disappear. To, and so we will have pot. to keep it. So in order to get the elevation change and everything, we're going to have to set that filter probably six, eight feet off of the corner that's fine so then we could build up because we need to have elevation change yep so we're going to set that about this high we'll fill in all this stuff then we're going to have an intermediate stream okay and then it will 
drop down. So we'll just have to get those measurements kind of kind of okay. nailed down. But yeah, no that problem. totally makes sense. And then I would like it. I ideally talk to me. Kind of come in over on this corner because I would like, as I know for Slinky, we want to have as much water as possible. Yes. But um, what we don't want to have happen, I don't want the water to come in and then it spreads out like this. We need pond. it to direct. It's it got to, to the direct skimmer. it. Correct. Okay. Cool. So we'll have to kind of go in one corner. So one thing that we could do, we could make it kind of like a oh, zigzag wow. like this, so we could start. And I don't know if we want to start in this corner or if we start it here, so you could see it. Have this come in here and have pumps that way. But that way we kind of maximize space a little bit. Instead of doing an L, we kind of do a V. I like that. Um, that's great. The the thing is, when I do the electric, uh -huh. if the pumps are over there. Yep. I got to bring the electric all the way around. So we can have pumps there. So if it's okay, we start waterfall this way. Uh huh. I mean, it's, again, it's this is more designed not. So the difference that we have here, when we're doing residential backyard stuff, we're always taking the waterfall location into consideration. Right. You know, but you're transforming everything. So this is going to kind of be almost like a hidden jungle waterfall, yeah. vegetation and that type of stuff. You'll probably hear it from the space. You're not going to see it right, until you actually be... come over to here. Exactly. Which is actually this a is cool... coming up another couple of foot yep. with block. Yeah. So I think that'll be awesome, though. It's really about the experience it's... when you're inside Correct. the habitat. Correct. So there'll be a door here. Yep. Okay. And I want to be able, we're going to build a bridge over the pond. My friend and I nice. we just build like a really cool bridge yep. over the pond. Then there'll be another door to get into this other enclosure. And so then you can sit in here. I like the idea. So then let's start this, this side, way, come yeah. this way, yeah. and then get, drop it down here, comes underneath and then the pond goes that direction. That's crazy. Let's do it. Okay. I mean, if whatever you, whatever he says he can do in two days, let's do it. <laughs> I have no two, idea. Two days. <laughs> Two days, no problem, right guys? <laughs> Holy crap. Ah, I love my job. It's gonna be bomb proof. That's what we're trying to do. What I love about it is Kenan loves to create an experience. He wants to create something natural. He's not looking at creating concrete boxes. First steps, excavation. We'll start dumping soil, and we're gonna generate a lot of soil pretty okay. quick. So it's a bit of a free ring surface right now. We're mixing some cement. I had to go to, to the Home Depot. Yeah. They have a bunch of cement brewers been helping me out with that. Terry and Joe are here. We're getting the basis of the pond situated. It's gonna come out a little bit more, but these guys have been working hard on the form of the pond. But here's what's really exciting, guys, is they have been starting, they set that biofalls first and leveled it out and that's where all the flow is going to be directed so pretty important stuff hey ed come on over here man so look at how much soil we've moved already we're putting yeah. rocks and cement in here there's cement underneath here um so that we can comply with any future laws for fish and wildlife but that'll be dialed what's more important though is what you got set up here this is going to be exciting man yes absolutely so this is the upflow biological filter this is going to help give us that water quality that you're looking for so we have one pipe connection coming in on one side we also set you up like on your other pond where we have a drain set up oh that's so, so that drain cool is going out the other side perfect so when I want to do a water change or partial water change, I just turn a ball valve and I it just flows right on out. And my buddy Bill is going to get all his fruit trees, the best possible fertilizer exactly. ever, man. You got so it. that's going to be good for my neighbor. He'll be stoked on that. Um, but the great thing about this enclosure, I love, I just, it's, it's one thing when you, your vision is always a little different than reality. Sure. But I love that we've created topography here. I do too. Yeah. Because this is going to be, where are we going to flow? Show me what, what your plans are. So we're going to have water flowing out of the waterfall box here. Yep. It's going to be a little bit of a little, like a little rippling waterfall coming through here. We're going to have a series of little fast moving water, maybe some deeper pools. Yeah. Animals can kind of get in. We're going to sweep it wide. Wow. And we're going to turn it this way, dump into the pond and it will continue going all the way to the pumps on that other corner. So cool. We'll probably have some little beach areas so they have an easy access to yeah. kind of climb down into the water, bass, lounge in it, you know, it's awesome. I think it's safe to say what we're building is going to be the coolest and greatest monitor lizard habitat any private person's had. I mean, shucks, some zoos would be pretty jealous Absolutely. of this. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. But think about it, guys. Both 
um, you know, John and Mary are gonna be in this area. I'm gonna plant it with a little bit more hardy, drought tolerant plants. We're gonna have more of a African feel on this side. And then you'll transition into Asia on this side and I'll get more lush vegetation. It'll be really, really cool. And so this pond is gonna be big enough for Slinky to get in and interact with um, much better than the concrete pretty much puddle that he's got now. Right. So this is gonna be way more self-cleaning and I'll tell you what, looking big enough, maybe I'll throw one of the fly river turtles in here oh, with Slinky. Awesome. Yeah, that'll be Sweet. fun. <laughs> All right guys, we got more work to do. I'll catch up you guys in a little bit. Hey, what's up? I'm back from my run to the Home Depot. I had to get these guys moved out of the way because I didn't want the leprechauns to get squished being back there. There's a lot of trucks and carts and everything moving back and forth, so I wanted to make sure those guys were safe. So we moved them out, but let's see just how far they've gotten. They are starting to lay rock already. So we're gonna mix up some more cement and continue to spread it out so that we can have ourselves a nice escape uh, escape proof habitat and then man look at this it's a good sized pond for him i'm pretty excited wow these guys work quick man that's awesome so there's going to be the basin where we have the pumps in the vault we're going to have that covered with gravel and then this is going to be his pond right in here and then the stream will be right that right coming down there. So it's super cool, man. All right, we're gonna keep moving. All right, it's still day one. My beautiful bride is here and she's grabbed this uh, beautiful Akubra sombrero uh, because Ed's been working hard. I grab, it's a little late, but. It's a little late in the day, but let me. Everything's better than nothing. Exactly, let me show you what's going on first, guys. So check this out. Look, we got water going in. You guys remember Mauricio? He's learning how to be an aquascape contractor. He built you an awesome four by four from Amazonia, but he's also gonna get into this, but check it out. We're filling this up with water already. I mean, this is day one. Tomorrow is gonna be incredible. They're working on now the stream right here. But here's why I'm coming right now. This is what I wanna do, because I've been really, <laughs> I've been really worried about Ed. Ed's head wow, is not a, looking so it's good. It's a different look. That's pretty cool, dude. Look at this, what do you guys think? I like it. He's wearing this, the, you can't get that hat in the United States. I can't clap. Woo, look at that. Yes, nice. what do you guys think? Pretty good, right? Ed is looking, that's awesome, dude. Wow. Holy <laughs> shit. I love it. All right, dude. I was, it was getting a, he's got a lot of SP up on her. You're getting burned. I had a 50 on it. I put it on three times. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm not far behind you, buddy. That's why I always wear this thing. So, very good. But hey, what's going on here? Talk loud, because we got the muck truck. We're still moving. Yep. So what we're doing now, we got majority of the fill is in. Could you do it in an Australian accent? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. We're in the outback. All right, mate. Here's what's going on. We're going to make all this. Right, anyway. I'm, right. I'm not a film guy like you. Okay, or a movie right. star. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> what do you got? So what we're doing, we got most of the fill in here. What we're doing is we're shaping out the stream now. Okay. So we're trying to create those little cascading pool type of a look. It's going to create a really cool effect. Fast moving water coming out. You can see the size of that pool that we got going in there. Yes. Big boulders. I'd love to maybe if we could steal another log or two. Oh, we can find we a log. We can find something that look awesome coming in here. 
We're gonna narrow it down in the middle to try to create like a fast moving section, pull it up again, and then dump it. Right in. Right in. And so guys, we we actually put over here, if you guys look, we've got this wood down here and we're gonna build on this and that's what's gonna separate the rock monitors, the black throats from Slinky. We're, we're, so we're it's actually, it's basically, no, no, we're talking no, about no, terrestrial no, species that that's gonna have some really cool, clear water to drink out of and then it's gonna disappear in these aqua blocks. But then it's an entirely different uh, habitat. We're gonna have more lush vegetation, more of a rainforest kind of look. Uh, taller plants. I, I, I can't believe this is gonna be Slinky's house. So we are kicking butt here, still day one. We are moving and grooving, man. Unreal, tomorrow is gonna be so cool. And guys, we're gonna be done with the Aquascape Pond, but we still have to build the structure over it, more of the block, and we're gonna have Universal Rocks coming down to Florida to help us really button this thing up and it is going to be the coolest monitor lizard habitat ever. So, all right, that's what's going on. He looks good in that hat. I'm digging it. Yeah, I'm liking it. I don't know whether he's Australian or or if he's from like Appalachia somewhere. I don't know. He's Amish. Yeah, he's a, might be Amish, but he looks good. That's a good looking hat. Anyway, guys, we'll catch up here in a little bit. All right, so it is the end of day one, and uh, everyone's having a well-deserved relaxation uh, session here at the at the pond. Everyone there, all right. There we go. We cleaned up our mess. They're having their cervezas. We've retired the sombrero, and I'm gonna make a gift of the Whoa. snowy river. Look at that. Oh, Look at that. Wow. That is. <laughs> wow. That's one now, it's the Pond Professor. That, I, I better see that in every video now. Look at that, dude. That actually fits you. It, it does, it works good, man. Yeah. yeah, I don't have it. That's a, good, that's a good end to the day. So all day tomorrow, or in the next video, He's gonna be wearing this because you did. You actually had. You know, let's I did. be real. I did. You you had a little scare with I some did. skin cancer I on did. your head. Yeah, exactly. Of all things. I did. So uh, you know, wear your hat, kids. That's what I do. I choose a Kubra, and I'm not paid. They don't pay me. So uh, it's just a darn fine hat from darn fine people in Australia. We love those Australians. That looks good, Ed. All right, there you go. So Ed, you actually right. you <laughs> got a face for a hat. Who needs hair? Anyway. That's it, guys. There's the pond man. Oh, the pond guy. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys next video. Like and subscribe. You will not believe what we get to on the next one. Uh, it's going to be awesome. See ya. Hey, do you like your job? <laughs> Me. I love my job. He sure does. <laughs>